Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you my top 10 still books for 2020, so stay tuned. So today I wanted to take time to show you my top 10 still book releases for 2020. These will be the still books that were released in the US and also in the UK, since I do purchase a lot from both. Um, so starting with number 10, I've got the UK release for The Prestige. Now I really like the artwork on this with the, um, the blues and the blacks and the silver look. And as you can see with the spiral down here in the center, it just looks really nice. And some nice artwork on the back. Nothing really much going on on the inside. So this is number 10, The Prestige. Okay, coming in at number 9, we have the Best Buy Exclusive Still book for Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Now I really like the yellow and the black on this one with the, the maze written out in All Work and No Play Makes Jack a Dull Boy. I really like this one. When I first purchased this, I wasn't too thrilled with it, but it has grown on me. So this right here is my number nine pick, The Shining. Okay, coming in at number eight, we have the UK release for Flash Gordon. Now this right here is the 4K release for Flash Gordon that was released. Um, I think this right here was a Zavi exclusive. And I really like the artwork on this one. And also I really like the fact that it came with three discs. So to me, this right here is a great looking release. So this is number eight, Flash Gordon. Okay, coming in at number seven, we have the Best Buy exclusive still book for Kick-Ass. Now this right here is for the 4K release. Some really great looking artwork and a clear slip. So without the slip on, you can really see the nice artwork that they've got. I really enjoy this movie and I really like the art on this. We do have some disc art and some cards. So this is number seven, Kick-Ass. Okay, coming in at number six, we have the Best Buy exclusive still book for Full Metal Jacket. Um, this one right here I like because of the artwork. Um, as you can see, it's very detailed with all the blue. And then you have the reflection in the sunglasses in orange, which goes really well with the back. So, Full Metal Jacket. That is my number six pick. Okay, number five is another UK release, and that is for Oblivion. So, this right here, I really like the details of the artwork on this one. And open it up. It's got some really nice looking artwork that continues from front and back. And we do have some disc art. I did get to watch this movie and I really enjoyed it. So this right here is number five. So coming in at number four, we have the Best Buy exclusive still book for The Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. This is another one that comes with a clear slip. So you take the slip off and you can really appreciate the artwork on this one. It's got the spot gloss and then the front and the back. Really nice looking artwork, and it does have the flipper disc trays, so that's really nice. So number four, The Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Okay, coming in at number three is the UK release for Total Recall. So Total Recall here, I really like the artwork on this. It does have a debossed title on it, which is different than what we got here in the US. Um, the U.S. did get a very similar still book with a clear slip. Um, this does not come with a slip, but it does have the title on it. And it's also a three disc set. So my number three pick is the U.K. release for Total Recall. Okay, coming in at number two is the U.K. release for The Fifth Element. So really nice looking artwork, very detailed. Now that right there is a piece of art. And you open it up. We've got the front and the back. The, the back's very simple. And we do have some disc art. So my number two pick is the UK release for The Fifth Element. 
So before I show you my number one pick, I did want to have some honorable mentions. Um, for the UK release, my honorable mention would be the Star Wars um, releases that they've done. I did do an unboxing of all the Star Wars still books that they released here recently on 4K. So definitely check those out if you would be interested in seeing the nice looking artwork on all of those. And then for the U.S. release, I do have a couple of picks. Um, my first pick would be for the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogies. Um, those right there were great looking still books. They were done in sets, so they were not a part of my top 10, but they're definitely a great release. And also another great release would be the Rambo collection. So I do have those linked if you'd like to check those out. Okay, for my number one pick, it is a U.S. release. And it is the Best Buy exclusive still book for Knives Out. So I really like this release. Um, it was very detailed with the way that they made it look like a book. And of course, it does come with, with this clear slip. So you take the slip off. Got some really nice looking artwork. And here's the house. It does look distressed like a book would, you know, with scratches and scuffs. And then on the inside, we do have some weird looking disc art. So this right here is my number one pick, Knives Out. So those are my top 10 still book releases for 2020. I would really appreciate it if you would leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular still book releases. Also, let me know which of these still books that you were able to add to your collection. If you also would like to take some time, please leave me your rankings down below. Let me know which of these top tens would be in your collection and maybe which order that you would have ranked them in. I really do appreciate you taking the time to leave a comment. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.